In the 20th century, many well-known thinkers and psychologists created developmental models of the stages of human development. Just as an adult needs to go through the phases of a baby, toddler, teen, etc. in the correct order, ignore these guys though, this is, this is just something else. They say in order to fully mature, a human will go from an egocentric state to an ethnocentric state to a world-centric state. Like all developmental models, these stages follow each other in succession. In order to make it to the world-centric stage, you must first go through the other stages. It's like how in order to form sentences, we need to know words. And in order to form paragraphs, we need to know sentences. In order to become a world-centric, cosmopolitan-focused person, the person that Stoicism says that humans naturally are, you need to first be selfish and egocentric. In order to worry about the whole of humanity, you need to first make sure you're good, and then make sure those around you are good. And only then can you go on to the next stage. As Jordan Peterson says, don't bother cats when they're cleaning your room. These cats are cleaning your room and they need to make that tidy before they can clean up the outside world. But let's look around us. The world we live in isn't focused on internal change. We have money being funneled to wars in foreign lands. We have different interest groups fighting for acceptance and forcing that acceptance on those who don't want to comply. Everyone seems to be worried about everyone else because we're pretending we're world-centric. The reality is though, our ego won't allow us to say that we are selfish. It won't allow us to say that we need to handle our own things first. Even though we don't feel fulfilled, we won't admit it because we don't want to admit that we are still egocentric. What we do instead is take on world-centric problems in the guise of altruism, but secretly hoping that if we help others, we will feel fulfilled ourselves. But remember what they say when you get on a plane. In the event of a situation where the oxygen masks come down, you're not supposed to put a mask on someone else until your own mask is secured. You aren't useful to others unless you've already handled your own stuff. We're trying to help all the time, but it's just making everything worse. Everything that I do, I do it to protect this family. Someone has to protect this family from the man who protects this family. It's people telling others how to live before they understand themselves. It's people trying to help those in need, but having no understanding of the nuance of suffering. Everyone wants to create a business or a charity where they grow super big and they help so many others. No one wants to just play small. No one wants to just help themselves and then help their community. And then maybe, si Dios quiere, you can help a large number of people. Their movement's trying to find an enemy where there is none, simply because they don't want to look within and see that the biggest dragon has already been slain. It's the warrior without a war who can't admit that they are in the peacetime garden. What they focus on is helping others, and most importantly, making sure other people know that they're helping others. That gives us status, which makes us feel good. Check. That makes us feel virtuous, which makes us feel good. Check. This is causing most of the problems in society. As Blaise Pascal remarked, all of humanity's problems stem from man's inability to sit quietly in a room alone.